going on guys, Jacques here, back with another video today, and today I'm going to be talking about the effects of creatine if you don't drink enough water. So, in the past, you know, when I started taking creatine back in my first year of lifting, I think, uh, I would always work out late, so an hour or two before I went to sleep, and then, you know, back in those days, there was stuff going around saying if you drink, uh, if you take creatine after your workout, it's going to, you know, enter your muscles faster and of course we know that's bullshit and, you know I believe I was just a noob lifter so so I would go to sleep take my creatine and I would wake up the next morning you know feeling like a fr so dehydrated feeling a freaking raisin like you know just feeling like the water's all sucked out of me like you know Spongebob when he doesn't drink enough water um, so I just got scared and I stopped taking creatine from then and then as research comes out and you know you grow as a lifter you start researching things and of course we find out that it was not true. I found out that, you know, it's not taking creatine before bed that was the issue. It was me not drinking enough water in the first place. First off, we're going to look at what creatine is and what it does to your body if you don't drink enough water when you're taking it. So creatine is naturally produced in our body from our pancreas and it's mainly stored in our muscles. The creatine pulls water from plasma in your bloodstream and puts that into your muscle in a process called myofibril, which is basically muscle hydration. Although this benefits ATP energy in your muscles, it can leave less water for vital organs like your heart, brain, kidneys, which are made up of over 70% water. So in my opinion, there's two kind of things we should look at with creatine dehydration. And first, we're going to start with the kidneys. So, with typical manufactured creatine, there are things called metabolites that are added to it, which basically are added to enhance the absorption process when the creatine is metabolized. However, these metabolites need to be filtered through the kidneys. So, if you're dr not drinking sufficient water whilst on creatine, and plus the increase in metabolites in your system that your kidneys need to filter, um, that could potentially put your kidneys under a lot of stress. And the second thing you should look out for is be wary of supplementing creatine with caffeine. So caffeine actually draws water away from your body by increasing your core body temperature and through urination. So that combined with creatine could further increase your risk of dehydration. And if you're already dehydrated, it's going to make you even more dehydrated and you're just going to end up looking like freaking Spongebob again when he doesn't have enough water. Or like me, you'll turn into a human raisin. Lucky for us, there's a way that we can negate all these potential effects creatine can have on us. Woo! What's up guys, it's Mike, and this is my magic red drink. You probably didn't know, I'm actually a naturally lazy guy. And really, all it took was just one cup of this magic little drink, and then I'm motivated to work out. No, it's not Mike Chang Afterburn, it's drinking plenty of water. So, how much water is plenty of water? Lucky for us, there's an easy calculation we can do. So take your body weight in pounds, half that, and then times that by three, and then that's how many liters of water you need. So me as an example, I weigh 158 pounds. I don't know, do I even lift? Um, I half that, which gives me 79, times that by three, which gives me about, I think it's like 2.3, 2.4 or something. So that'll give me like 2.3, 2.4 liters. And then if you're supplementing with creatine, so you want to add 0.5 liters per every five grams of creatine we're supplementing with. So most of us are going to supplement with around five grams of creatine. So you just add 0.5 liters off that first calculation. So easy, simple as that. So my grand total of water I drink a day is should be around 2.8, 2.9. So I just round that off to about three liters of water per day just to, keep, just to be safe. Thanks for watching my video on creatine dehydration. If you like this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you want any more questions, research and answered. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. Peace.